get some of the bonus features. I think there's actually like now that I've beaten the game, I think there's more bonuses. So I might put on like a featurette. I, mean, I think there's like a making of the game or something, or like something about what the developers bonus material. Oh, you see, they have the lost Indians from the first game, which are all live action. You like the game more than the cutscenes? The way I would describe Oh, here we go. Twisted all right, I'll be right Metal, back. A, a super uh, high action uh, car combat game. It spoke to this kind of heavy metal rock and roll, uh, bad 70s, 80s, you know, hard rock album cover art vibe that I've always loved. Twisted Metal is a lobe in my brain. Hard rockin' car combat at its finest. Cars would drive around an imaginary city and shoot at each other. Twisted Metal Universe was never slated to be a very uh, Saturday morning cartoon. Twisted Metal, on a certain level, is still Rock'em Sock'em Robots. spirit and a soul to the Twisted Metal universe. And it's American, and it's rock and roll, and it's underdog, and it's scrappy. And yeah, the first game wasn't that great, metal. but then the second game was just awesome. But there, in my mind, there's two types of heavy me uh, Twisted Metal, right? There's the Twisted Metal 2 kind of Twisted Metal, where it's all like, like this one, like comic book. And then there's like the darker ones, which is like the new ones now. I started at Sony as a tester right out of college. Um, total, I had no clue what I was gonna go make movies. It was my plan. And uh, I worked on some games for Sony. And then this, this it was actually funny. Me and my design partner at the time were, uh, we were kind of hanging by a thread. I mean, we pissed off all the developers we worked with. We thought we knew everything. We knew absolutely nothing. Apparently David Jaffe and has a mouth. called us in when he heard about these guys in Utah who were working for the military. And he says, look, he's, I, remember, I remember this meeting. He's like, he's like, look, my feet are at the fire on this with you guys. It's like, this is, this is kind of your last chance. It's like, don't screw this up. My thing was... Like, when remember when he was making God of War 3 or whatever for the PlayStation 3? Exactly. And then he said you know, in an interview that the Blu-ray was a stupid fucking idea by Sony? Uh, and not needed for next-gen gaming, and then he got in big trouble for that. People that wear suits. Uh, it was very refreshing to see all these ideas just come pouring out, and I thought, oh my god, how am I gonna... Yeah, the, the gonna new dark one with this? the crazier gonna, sweet tooth. You know, I like the comic book style, and, though. And, you know, turn it into a production environment. It's ray tracing hype. It's not hype, it's a real thing. We had uh, gotten back from Utah. The but I, I don't time. think it's that, that uh, it's not, it's going to be that amazing. Dimensional database and we saw basically what three. Oh, that's why they, all the cutscenes weren't in the first game because they, they made it in Utah. So sort of they're the, probably uh, all like, oh, we don't like the me, chicks I, with the boobs. So it's got to get rid of those cutscenes in the first game. Fantasy people have to be stuck in a car in traffic and just want to have missiles and guns on their car. There's Twisted Metal 1. And I thought, wow, this is so obvious. Hasn't someone else done this? And it was a great pleasant surprise to know that, well, no one has done this. So I was pretty excited and it was pretty straightforward. So for me, I kind of like the more simple type of uh, game concepts. You kind of see this game for what it was just at the concept levels. And we were so excited and we wrote up this big design document. It was one of the best selling games on the PlayStation 1, like launch later, titles. The guys in Utah sent us back this document, which was a pizza delivery game. At the time, that sounded really cool and it would have been such a disaster because how many times can you sequel a pizza delivery game? I don't remember how we somehow talked them out of the pizza delivery game. I wasn't. Wow, could you I'm imagine it would have been like Paperboy, but with pizza delivery? Less articulate then. And it may have simply been me on a phone call going, Are you out of your f yeah, that's I know what I kind of like David Jaffe because he, he doesn't the game was he, he doesn't to, seem uh, like the typical like sugarcoating guy 
like uh, corporate dude. He just seems like he just can. talks a lot of shit, and he's like, "Yeah, well, I want to make this game. Let's make it. I want to make a game with a guy named Kratos, and he just fucks that's chicks that's and kills that's monsters, that's and, and there's tits and stuff in it." Like, no, you can't make that game. He's like, and he did, and made a shitload of money. They are what they are. <laughs> it's like same thing with Twisted Metal. I was like, I want to make a game where we blow shit up with cars and stuff. Uh, a request no, to pizza delivery. No, fuck that. For, uh, fi instead of firing missiles, firing uh, food groups like vegetables and fruit. We oh, would that sure have been great uh, if, it, if it became more Mario Karty? I guess David Jaffe really had to we struggle had, to make uh, sure that it was like mature. With these hardcore gamers that came in, and uh, they just tore the game apart. This was towards the end of it. We were about to put it into marketing, get money from marketing to advertise it. And they played it, and it was the whole night they were making fun of it. You know, the <laughs> description of it was, it's a fighting game in cars. And so the focus, that, the focus test was comprised of hardcore fighting game gamers. And they just didn't really get, you know, how this was a fighting game in cars. I said, I'm going to start looking for a new job tomorrow, because they're going to fire me, because this is a disaster. And... Uh, it turned out not to be. It turned out that we ended up... And I, I was it was a huge hit. Somebody told me, oh, you guys got Game of the Year. And I'm like, what are you, you, know, what are you talking about, right? And then it turns out, and I won't mention the magazine because I don't think legally we can, uh, but we ended up getting Game of the Year from the most prestigious game magazine that was out at the time. And I was just... Ultra was game players. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, this it was, was probably the first EGM. game I had ever done. It was the first game these guys in Utah had ever made. Um, and we ended up with a game that a lot of people really, really love to the point that we were getting these major awards. And so it all worked out. I have no clue how. Maybe we all just. Maybe it was Game Pro. They gave, like, it was, they it gave Faceball 2000 and Twisted Metal. Oh, yeah, like these lost cutscenes. We'll watch some of those. They look fucking campy as shit. I hated the end movies for Twisted Metal. <laughs> I just thought they were, they were extremely cheesy. You just. And we just and I. And you. And them. You don't know! I did think that some of them turned out a little too hokey. I am the winner, and you are my prize. If the movies somehow had wound up in the game, it might have hurt Twisted Metal 1. I didn't realize any of this at the time. I thought I was making, you know, my calling card into Hollywood. You will drive forever! Like, Calypso looks you really weird. Sounds good to me, baby! They were terrible stories, and they were terribly written. I think that was part of the, uh, the charm and, and, and appeal to him, but I, you know, first and foremost, I think this is some of the content. Uh, I do like how they uh, went back when, you know, in the second one, they went with the comic book uh, look, and I think that too. that's the perfect look with the comic book ending. We want yeah. And the guys in Utah just hated them um, and thought they were offensive and terrible, and we basically had to, you know, do the damage control to make sure that, you know, we ended up with a great product. I guess this is before uh, Twisted Metal was a hit, and David Jaffe was a nobody, so he couldn't just tell him, tell him, fuck off, do what I, I say, whereas now he can. To see my masterpiece of, now he can do uh, whatever he wants. I mean, he's retired and, now, but like, Twisted he's like, no, I want, and, I want a Greek guy you know, going around fucking babes and killing like, topless medusas. It's like, okay. Oh, man. Give me that. Give me! A paperback? You can't be serious. I think for what they are, they're really fun and campy and they add to it, but, you know, they, they never quite saw the light of day. And, and that's, I was really disappointed at the time. Now I can look back and be grateful that it was actually a really good lesson that I should never be a film director and I should never, ever get behind a movie camera because only bad things can happen. Oh, uh, yeah, now this is what sealed it. Twisted Metal 2 is a masterpiece. We thought Twisted Metal 1 was a flop. We didn't know if we had careers. Uh, left at Sony. Luckily, it was good enough to warrant a sequel, and that's when we were able to really kind of pull out all the stops and do a lot of things that we wanted to do with the first version. We really, you know, were excited to get into the second one because we, then we felt like we knew, you know, really how to make it the game that we wanted to play. We knew that Sony wanted to do a sequel, and I know Jaffe, uh, Mike Jackson, and I were really excited to basically put in a lot of the things that we didn't do and improve on a lot of the things that really sucked in, in, in Twisted Metal 1. Uh, the darkness, the graphics, the control. Warhawk. Warhawk didn't have on. a sequel that, until the PS3. And so we, we were like, okay, we have to fix this. We have to fix everything that we screwed up in the first place, <laughs> which means 
you know, we went so far as to say, let's forget them being cars. Warhawk was supposed to be this big fucking thing, control. right? We talked about hovering And single, cars, I think single track worked on it as well. And then it's just like Twisted Metal made more money. Insect legs, you know, to climb up buildings and things like that. Let's make them insects because insects don't move as fast and they can't get hooked, you know, caught on objects. I mean, we were looking, we, we, we'd go into like stores and watch people play the game on kiosks. And, and, you know, they were banging into walls. They were going too fast. and, and They were terrible players, that, honestly. God, it would be really great if all we these levels were in this game. We were getting such bad focus tests and, and play tests. And so we were doing everything we could to sort of remedy that. We even said, let's forget the car combat. Let's do missions. Like, you're a car and you've got missions, like, you know, a secret agent, but you're in a car. And then the reviews started to hit, and then the sales started to come in, and then the, the people on uh, what at the time were sort of the BBSs and the sort of the, the beginnings of the internet started to the real sort nerds. of write about, oh my god, this game is awesome. My favorite twisted metal moment, probably a lot of people feel this way, is when the Eiffel Tower came down for the first time. The Paris level was probably one of the bigger uh, or more popular levels. Uh, what was that code this, that just flashed? You know, of, of the, uh, Are there you know, secrets in this the video? And it would open up kind of a, Am I supposed to pause whole, this video every now and then and uh, write down level, codes? Uh, which was the rooftops of the, of the Paris buildings. And, you know, it was something that was just such a cool uh, level that we all wanted to try to make, make it work. Um, I just kind of... You know, it, it was actually during a single track staff meeting that uh, during the whole staff meeting, I just started, you know, started off with kind of a, a grid <clears throat> with some angled streets and then, you know, put Same the guy the tower. And the question was, could we afford this? It, it kind of became a uh, mission for us to make this level work. Uh, I remember uh, when you looked at the level and we started reviewing it, and, and I remember Jaffe saying, Dude, if you could make this thing work the way that you're saying it could work, we got to do it. Like when you think about the PlayStation One, this is a very complex thing going on in this level. I have to say, because of the, the Eiffel Tower, style, I never really thought that there was any sensitive nature uh, up until uh, a member of the French press came to uh, Single Track to look at some of the levels. And he was quite offended when he and saw And he was the extremely Eiffel French, so we didn't care. <laughs> fueled everybody to kind of get more wacky and destroy more sensitive type of icons. And we try to get that gameplay and, and the dynamics. Yeah, but they're complicated square box, so you got like multiple layers. That way we get gameplay kind of leading the development and production charge. And that, you know, in our case, that's always first and foremost. Gameplay, gameplay, gameplay. I loved working on the mechanics of Twisted 2. I loved the idea of, can we build depth in the gameplay? Can we build strategy into the level design? I thought that was yeah, really Yeah, like, see, like this part in New York, where you go through the ramps, you go through that building, there's a teleporter. I think all those things factored into it as... But yeah, all the, all the levels in the first game are real, the like, they're very, the like, series. one singular level. The second game, they were like, no, let's do levels on levels. Doing oh, vertical. Twisted Metal 1 and Twisted Metal 2 uh, took an enormous toll on, you know, myself and the rest of the team. It killed five members and, of the team. You know, to really not have any, uh, you know, financial... Uh, There's another code. ...upside uh, that, you know, a a as a result of that, really started to, uh, I oh, they... think, affect uh, the, myself and the rest of the team. Uh, we put so much time and effort into these titles and now you know they were seeing uh decent success you know with twist metal 2 being a million plus seller um you know we started to you know have conversations of wow this really sucks to pour your heart and soul into something uh you know put your family on the back burner and at the end of the day what did you get from it well a reputation for making a good fun car combat game um that wasn't enough uh, going they wanted the money that that really started the yeah the start of the exodus that's uh, why they, that's why they didn't work on twisted metal three and four they wanted more money but sony owns the right to, to twisted metal uh, so they just kept making them but it had four, nothing to do with david jaffe and the original reaction, team many other people on the team is what have you done with our baby 
You know, I didn't really play Twisted Metal 3 and 4 very much. Uh, to me, they weren't really Twisted Metal, you know, because they didn't have the same feel at all. What is, what? So Twisted Metal is 1920s now? Is that the origin, according they to Twisted Metal 4? The guys uh, from Utah weren't going to be doing Twisted 3. It was going to be the guys in San Diego. I was like, all right, you know, I'll, I'll help them out if I can. But I really, it's not that I didn't care like I was through Twisted Metal. I don't care. But I had sort of moved on, you know. So it didn't really bother me. It only bothered me once the games came out. You have to sort of understand the world of Twisted Metal to make a Twisted Metal game. And I think what those guys got was they understood they understood it sort of at a marketing level. Ah, oh, Twisted Metal's cool, and the characters are dark, and they're wacky. And, but it, it was done like a 40-year-old trying to be cool versus actually somebody who got the world and loved the world. Yeah, not someone cool like you, David Jaffe. It felt more oh, no. like they were trying to sort of... They, they were like posing, basically, and I think. Oh, he really called him posers. Of those games. <laughs> Holy sweet. shit! Your wish is to eat all the candy and ice cream you want. Your wish is granted. Well, I mean, look at this. This looks like shit. Like, what the fuck is this? Oh, geez, <laughs> what the I, fuck? When I saw the sweet tooth character design for three and then four, which was worse. I mean, he looked like a Carney Barker with these stupid. Uh, neon purple pants and and it's like what is this sweet tooth is like like I've said sweet tooth is me sweet tooth is the darkest most animalistic side of me and you guys are turning him into a f joke you know I know the guys who made three and four they're good guys some of them but they suck at making games <laughs> or at least but twist to metal games, um, you know what I'd say I, by and of themselves, I think there are things in those games that are certainly cool. And there are some, there's good work in those games on every aspect, code and art and game design. I mean, Rob That's Zombie's say, in the fourth by one. By themselves, they're bad games. They're just bad, twisted metal games. I still so, want to play Rob's those two games. To start Incognito on the new platform, PlayStation 2, with Twisted Metal Black. Black was tough because we knew we were getting the series back, me and the guys in Utah. And we knew we weren't relevant anymore. We knew that the industry had moved on. We knew that sort of what was edgy and cool. And I mean, Twisted Metal 2 started the car combat no genre. There were so many copycat games. And so what I was in love with on Twisted Metal Black was the world and the tone and the characters and the stories. Sony would let Dave uh, do really kind of risque things. They were graphic. Yeah, White Zombie is way better than Rob. They were gory. And they weren't just made for, you know, little tiny kids. See, that's why I don't like Black. Black's a little too too metal, edgy. Especially you know, it's got, it's got more of an edgy feel to it. It lost know, that time, comic book vibe. A lot of people were, were looking for uh, really arcadey, bright, happy-looking games. And to to make this shift to a really dark game was really smart. Yeah, it's all gambling. fucking brown and black. We like, it sucks. <laughs> we were going for a totally different style. It was going to be a more mature game. Everything was fucking dark, brown and black when the early. Remember every uh, game. Voting for the first time. Like holy shit. We were important. We were feared. And feel like a dangerous world. A lot of times you think that when someone has these kind of ideas, you're thinking, are they trying too hard to be edgy and cool and not nerd-like, or do they really kind of think this way? And it really became obvious that in the case of David Jaffe, there really is some uh, deep, dark, evil motivations that kind of, I think, spark his uh, wow. his imagination. There were things I wanted to do in black that they wouldn't let me do. And some of it was just so... F OK, some of it was valid, right? We had, a, uh, we had a scene with the preacher who thought he was performing an exorcism. But he was crazy. He was really being asked to perform a baptism. And so, he, he drowns this Well, we had this great shot of- You had to, you had to bleep out kids. baby? I'm a, I'm a nice, gentle guy, but it's a hey, another code and flash. The scene, there was this great shot of him pushing this little, you know, five-day-old into the, the baptismal- Why is baby censored? His little legs are kicking around in there, and he's just like shoving the thing down there. Because in his mind, he's like exercising this demon. Sony made us cut that now. Oh man, that Sony just ruins all our fucking baby killing fun in our games. I understand that. 
But then you know what it was? It gave people within the company. Holy shit, he has a crucifix that impales people? Oh my god! Uh, it's carved! Noble oh, wow. and pious, and aren't I normal card? And it's like, <laughs> you. The voice inside me was a figment of my imagination. My god, it was all in my mind. It was just an opportunity for people to act like, you know, I want to say something and I want to make a statement. And it's like, please get the out of my kitchen. I'm trying to cook this stew. A man cannot hide from himself. There is only one path before. Praise Jesus! A, a big part of making a game is just getting a visual image of what this thing's gonna look like. We had a machine now that we could really do some nice graphics on, you know, take it to a different level. And this one was the first time I felt like we were really creating a universe, a, a place Dark that was guy. apart from the world. Yeah, he's got some demons, when man. When you go into it, you feel like you're really in That's a That's why I don't give a fuck about the new God of War. War. You know what I mean? It's like, did David Jaffe work on it? No? And it's not really God of War then, is it? I don't care how cool it is. I don't I still really like, like the God of War is a trilogy. Black. It's over. That was the level where we had these concepts. To me, David Jaffe made God of War and Twisted and Metal. If he's not involved in them anymore, then it's like I play and keep the art style and the I just, I just don't think you can make them. It's like it's like Metal Gear. You can't make them without Kojima. It, it holds a special place in my heart. I still really like that level just because of those things. I definitely don't think Yeah, God of War 4, I mean, it's, it's obviously a cash-in. Because it's like, it honestly, ended in the third time, game. The whole, the plot, bored. everything, the whole I mean, Greek mythology thing, thing, and then, and like, so to kind I of... Was in love with on Twisted Metal Black to kind of go into, like, um, the Norse yeah. mythology and shit just and, seems uh, fucking lazy. Like, that sounds like some shitty fanfic. It wasn't creative enough. And then um, any new gameplay really in it is probably like 95% of it is just ripped off of God of War 3. The rest is like 5%. And blacks and grays and, and uh, clouds in the sky rolling by. And I think the core I mean, experience... The I, I do want to play Twisted really Metal Black. Really I do think it's a good game. The good is, I just don't like its art style. From a career standpoint, we had enough of the other stuff. We pulled off the atmosphere so well um, and some of the sort of surface stuff so well that we kind of got a free pass on the fact that the gameplay was good, but it wasn't great. Um, but I definitely think uh, it, it, it's, 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 it's probably the least quality gameplay. I think two is the best, one is the second best, and black is the third best. Damn. Even Jaffe doesn't like the gameplay in black. The cars would get designed first, and then characters, we would talk about cool, compelling, whack, you know, weird, wacky type of characters. And that was just kind of a process of applying those different characters uh, to the oh, different wow. cars. Outlaw and used to be like an old process, school, and one that old really school cop car? endured a lot of changes throughout the development. And, you know, that used to really frustrate the hell out of me. It's like, wait a minute, why is this character now in that car? Jaffe, what the hell is going on here? Um, but there was always a good sound. I think the driver needs to match it, the personality and, uh, of the car. You know, again, in the end. Because it's like the car is what we play as, but the driver, that, that gives it like, um... The cars. A lot of times... Like, that gives the car motivation. Dave, Dave Jaffe sends us this wacky stuff that we go... Oh, naked pictures of him. This, it's know, just like, fucking weird. Oh my god, this, he did! These <laughs> photos of, uh, something we call zipper chicken. It was, it was a large person in leather with zippers and and holding fetuses and things what wow my favorite character would have to be mr graham i think my mind bent so much it snapped in two i just really like the whole you know the speed of that of the, his motorcycle um he he's got the most powerful attack but he has like no armor um I, he's I a like glass his, cannon you know, the gatling gun sidecar is really cool well, you can never go wrong with a skull helmet i mean <laughs> Axel was, you know, tied up in those tires um, in order to gain his freedom uh, out of the huge tires that he <sighs> was molded to or robotically connected to. He, he literally ripped his arms out of the tires. We had some dri dripping blood, some disgusting sound, and I just never thought we were going to get away with it. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, because he wished to see I his father. a free man, and you are no longer my father. There that was, was his wish in Twisted Metal me, too, Scott and so he rips he rips he himself out of the thing. Specter. Specter's changed uh, constantly. He used to be a ghost. The character, in fact, 
I really didn't even know that he was going to be called Scott Campbell until I saw it show up. You know, it's kind of a, a surprise, always usually a pleasant surprise when you find out, wow, I wonder what the backstory is on this one. I, I love Sweet Tooth. My first memory of Sweet Tooth was we had a list of potential vehicles and characters. And one line said, ice cream truck driven by demonic Demonic clown. ice cream truck. I gotta say though, he, he is like the mascot of Twisted Metal. You know, when you think Twisted Metal, Sweet Tooth comes to mind. So I actually spoke to a therapist Also, several years ice cream trucks, so like that's, that's a cool right. car to like Kratos, attack with. Who's a character I had a huge hand in creating from God of War. And Sweet Tooth, who's a character I had a huge hand in creating for Twisted Metal. Both of these characters are testosterone-fueled, aggressive, animalistic. They take exactly what they want when they want it. And I'm not going to go into too many personal details about my life, but let's just say for the longest time, certainly when I was developing those characters, that wasn't who I was if you saw me walking down the street. But I can promise you that that's who I was underneath the surface. As much yeah. as I had those old <laughs> Damn, urges like of mine, I kept them to myself for the moment. It's interesting how who you really are and what you really want ends up coming out in your creative work. I, I was, that was such a revelation to me when I realized that, that I realized that Jesus, Sweet Tooth is me. You know, Kratos is me. You know, that's, that, that was both terrifying and very, very exciting. He's not gonna lie, he popped a boner when he came up with Kratos. I know, right? But I you can tell uh, David Jaffe lives. <laughs> it, it's, it's run its course. It's gone, it's spanned through uh, three different platforms. And uh, again, I think, you know. It's what they're going for, it's, though. It's good well, I mean, there's, that, there's that Ice Cream Man horror movie where. Um, we know Ron Howard's brother we know plays an evil ice cream like man. Anytime a game. Well, there's sugar free ice cream. Good characters <laughs> and good stories. Clint Howard, yeah, Clint game. Howard. Oh, he's like the real sweet tooth. Oh my god. We need to find what is going to spark something, you know, that gets people interested in a genre again. See, Sweet Tooth's a clown that has an ice cream truck. I don't think Sweet Tooth. Spark will come back um, and uh, we'll have some. Uh, a is lot an of ice cream ideas. man. Uh, I would hate to say that it's farewell. Um, I hope down the road, uh, you know, maybe someday we'll see it made into a movie. You know what? Netflix is making a twisted metal metal show. Series that really goes down. So I don't know. Maybe David Jaffe like, oh God, he quit. He retired from video games, but I, I he might be working on that show. I think. That's what that that's what the series it feels pure to me. It feels like that's what it's meant to be. And when it resonates with those kinds of people, that makes me really, really happy. I, it, it, it might be an interesting TV show. Like I'd watch it. Of the series, and they'll write to us and they'll call us and tell us all the stuff that we don't know. My favorite twisted metal level, I'd have to say it's Moscow and Twisted Metal 2. There's something about the balance in there. Moscow! Like weapons. It needs to be more weapons. More but weapons, damn it! Nice and we've been really fortunate that that we've had great fans. What kind of show would it? Be? I mean, like, you know, I, I, they got some interesting characters. That just makes it all. Work it, it would have to be like a very action-packed. It was a classic game in my eyes, but uh, I was like show with, with like. Darker, it, you gotta do like eight episodes. You know what I mean? Like anything more than that would be like fucking stupid. Thank you for all the great feedback that we've gotten over. The characters years. would have to die I think too. It's really helped shape the game for the better. Let's talk, Tristan. I love Twisted Metal, and the reasons have changed uh, quite a bit over the years, but the thing that's always been constant from day one is that it's just got, to me, the most incredibly deep multiplayer experience. Uh, to the fans of Twisted Metal, um, Fuck you and thank you for your money. You guys are loyal <laughs> and passionate. For whatever reason, Twisted Metal has always just been a very good game for replay value. It never gets old for me, and a lot of people from PMA. You know, I want to play way. Twisted Metal and Small Brawl. That's the one where there are RC up. cars, really, uh, but that's also made by David Jaffe. Yeah. I'm more interested in playing that one in the third, fourth one, or black. To write about it, to blog about it, to make boards about it, um, and most importantly, to play it. And to hey, enjoy welcome it. back, Noofy. Oh, you just missed David Jaffe so talking about how he's a clown uh, and he's also Kratos. Everything to us. I love Twisted Metal because I love fast-paced combat. I love blowing crap up. I love multiplayer play with now I'm gonna watch some cheesy ass Indians from the first game. That should be great. I can't wait. Yeah, what can you say? Thank you.
The lost ending movies. I can I can select any ending. So they weren't in they were gonna be in the original game, but they got cut out. Let's start let's just start with the first one. Let's see what Sweet Tooth's ending's like. Let winner Oh, they could have got a better VHS rip of their own thing. Then again, it was gonna be like on CD, right? So may maybe it would have. Or maybe they purposely added that, like, graininess to it. Congratulations! I have a weird voice! Won my contest. You like Where my burnt face? My I did it myself. Why is he just has a woman tied up there the whole time? To play any prize you request. <laughs> you just don't know. You don't know what it was like for me. You just and we just and I and you and them. You don't know. Look, I'm a bit confused, Mr. Kane. You do understand by winning high octane, you are entitled to any request of any value, and yet. You ask me for this? Oh man, give me that! Give me! A paperback? You can't be serious. Oh man. The guys in Utah were like, we don't no. want to do it because there's all these no, hot chicks in no, bikinis. No, Gotta get rid of these cutscenes. You. You, you said it would be easy. Do you know what they did? Do you, you? Now it's my turn. Clips almost seems like my he feels world. sorry for him. It's my word, it's my turn. It's my day. Boo. Ah! I was going so run. He's just, just like, yep. Yeah. Oh no, not Calypso's shirtless, muscly bodyguard guys. That was that was a weird gun cock. Cuckoo. Acha cha cha. Acha. Young lady, I owe you a debt of gratitude. You sweet to really stay in my realm. My own. realm of the chair and the smoke. Zaya. You guys are both sick. I'm getting out of here, and I'm taking your truck. All right, and I'll become the nostalgia critic, or the, the nostalgia chick. I got another one. Or I'll become Janine Garofalo. All right, Thumper. Hmm, what was the prize you were requesting? Money, bitch! You know Bitches and hoes! I signed your contract. Oh. Let's get this over with. Gentlemen, I'm not the one who kidnapped your girlfriend. But as promised, she is here perfectly safe. Bruce! Bruce! What's happening? See? One big happy family. And I guess in the, in the first game he wasn't magical. Care. In the second game, he's fucking magical. Of bringing your real enemy directly to you. <laughs> what am I doing here? Oh my god. Thanks, Calypso. I told you before I would finish doing your hits for you. You don't have to do this, man. Oh, he's a rapper. You don't have to do this. I'm sorry about the girl, man. You don't have to do this. Come on, man. Don't do this. Come on. Cross me again. Come on, rappers don't kill people. It's That's over. no. Don't do that. Oh, good. You didn't pump you, me full of lead. Thank you. Thanks, Calypso. I mean, it was the 90s. So what's this guy gonna do now? Is Calypso's just gonna... That was anticlimactic. Oh, good. Oh, my God. <laughs> Pit Viper. They were only in the first game. I don't know much about them. Because you are the winner of my contest. I can grant anything you ask for, young lady. Cut the formalities. I want my prize. Now you pay up, Calypso. Strange. It says here, you are only asking for this. 
one million dollars. One billion dollars. Quite a paltry sum. How can you fit a billion dollars in a briefcase? Anything. Still, you are the winner, and the money is your prize. No, my prize is getting close enough to you to do this. What? Step on the gas? What is she doing? I like how it's the exact same footage with the I've swim team. I've been paid by the people of LA to take you out, Calypso. Oh, you didn't expect him to have sexy no, chicks with you guns. Really want to be an assassin? You should keep your eyes on your prey. <laughs> oh. Well, she puts the ass in assassin. Much better. I think Calypso is a playable character in the fourth game, which is another reason to hate the fourth game. Oh, look, it's Sweet Tooth's dad, Yellow Jacket. As you are the winner of this contest, it becomes Dark Tooth. I have agreed to grant any request you ask for, but yet you ask for nothing. Well, I, I just. Well, actually, sir, I, I really wanted just another chance to drive. My God, you, you killed, killed everyone. everyone. You suddenly don't drive like a man who has nothing to gain. In the way you took out your own son. Sweet Tooth, yeah. That was one of the best kills I've seen in the last ten years. It's hard to believe you're really the father of that psychotic clown in the ice cream truck. Your driving skills are vastly superior. Come now, Mr. Kane. You must want something. Soon, as you can probably tell, I'm gonna pass along. I just wanted one more shot. Mm. What if I told you? There was no need to move on. Why do you have burnt face no makeup? No need to ever die. What do you mean? I have many abilities, Mr. Kane. Many powers. I have a chair full of real view mirrors. Oh, so he turns him into Dark Tooth. Oh, Skull Face, okay. You are a lucky man. Well, just a second. I, I, I don't want this. Please, Mr. Kane. What have you got to lose? I said it. Uh, no, that was already me. gone. <laughs> Is this a propane tank regulator? Oh, that's strange. It it tastes, tastes like cherry. Like, ah! ah! Tastes like ah! Mr. Kane, the world is now your oyster. I need a driver. Someone to travel the world and search for new drivers for each year's competition. Oh, it's setting up Twisted Metal 2. And you'll drive forever. What do you say, Mr. Kane? Sounds good to me, baby. Roadkill. I liked Roadkill in the second game. Oh, he's a different guy I here. Should grant to you anything you so Yellow Jacket was canon? Yep. He's, he's, oh, he's not the winner. The, the original winner is Outlaw, but Yellow Jacket is Dark Tooth. So you should know what I want. The jungle rules of South America. You were a commander for the Allied troops. What was that? Five years ago? Four and a half. Uh, I like how he's got like a little go take your order time. thing, like he works at Wendy's. Something straight. An interesting request. I lost them all. Twenty-five good men, and I sent them straight into an enemy trap. And one total asshole. I want a second chance, Calypso. Where it is, you can give me that. I wonder if you really know what it means to go back in time. Really to go back. Damn it! I don't need a lecture. I need to See save my hip, men. Huh? I need more time. I can give you time. But to go back and to Give me able. what I want. Give me what I earned. I won. Okay. Now it's now it's the music video to Rooster. They've come to kill the rooster. If you can hear me, we're heading into the forge. Oh yeah. No. Stand out of there. Stay out of the forge. Yes, sir. Pulling back, sir. Wait. Wait for me. You guys stay put. No. I ain't gonna die! Alright, let's look at this. Oh, 
I don't know if you want me to put it on stream. Oh, I see. Fair enough. Hmm. That is a pretty good one for Metal Gear Solid. Uh, what was it? Five. Du -du 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 -du. Is that the same ending for Outlaw? All right, all right. back to display capture. Wait, no, that's my game capture. Oh, there it is. Oink. I like Rogue Killing too, because Rogue Kill's played by this some. Um... He's like this homeless guy. But he, he, he thinks that Twisted Metal isn't real, like it's all a dream. But only he knows it, so he wishes for the real world. And then, like, Calypso grants it, and then he just wakes up in a hospital bed. He, it turns out he was in a coma this whole time. But ends up being shot instead. Oh! Let's see Spectre. Spectre's a ghost in this one. As you well I liked know, his ending in the second one. Quest will be yours. Did you get a, a chance to read over my request? I did. Here's I wasn't too bad with looking at latex. Here, your future. He gets a Nintendo and NES. Oh no, it's just a blue potion. This is it. This is gonna make bring me back to life. It will. Back to the wife you left behind. Back to the little girl you've never seen. Back to the world of the living. Thank you, Calypso. Thank you, my God. <laughs> Will it stop all the weird motion blurring? What's happening? You're being born again. God, thank you, Calypso. I the lighting great. changed. I, I, I guess I am alive. alive. I, I, I feel... Betrayed. What? No. <laughs> no, don't. Please, don't. I giveth, and I taketh away. Try again next year, driver. Calypso, no, please. Wait, don't. what? I won! What the fuck? No! No, you ah! did! You shot me! Urgh! <laughs> like that, that was a great reaction. Oh, what? It's like someone spilled ketchup on you. It's like, oh, that's my favorite shirt. Damn it! That's gonna stain. Yeah, they use the same footage a lot. That's the exact same Congratulations contest one. Greetings, Calypso. As you well know, any prize you request will be yours. I am the winner, and you are my prize. I want your soul. Your soul is mine. No! It's not time! No! We made a deal! There will be no deal this time. No! It is not So Calypso time. made a deal with the devil no. for his magic. No! Oh. Oh, I don't like bike rides! <laughs> Alright, Outlaw, this is the canon ending. Cut the formalities, Calypso. I'm here for my prize. Oh, he got older so, in the in the first game. I see you want my competition brought to an end. This is the prize you want in exchange for winning my contest. That That's makes right. you a hypocrite. You know that, right? No more right? dead bodies. No more unsafe streets. No more war. Your promise was and has been since the beginning of this unholy competition that the winner gets whatever he asks for. Whatever, Calypso. Now I hear you're a man of your word, so I expect. Officer, I've given you. I like how they talk to him while they're in their car. You are like they just drive in. And I am bound to respect your decision. Let it be recorded that on this night, December 24th, 2005, Officer Carl Roberts is granted a world free of the high octane competition. Now, officer, drive out of this garage and enter a world free of the pain and suffering you claim my cause. Oh, so that's how he ends this up in space. My vision shall be over for good. You have my word.
Oh no. Welcome to your new world, officer. Just as promised, it is free of the high octane competition. And everything else. <laughs> oh <boy>. Enjoy! <laughs> Can you at least turn on the lights, Calypso? Warthog. As you well know, any prize you request will be yours. Tell me you found it, Calypso. Tell me it's here. Tell me you found my penis. Tell me no one's heard it. I told the government I'd get it back to him. Master the light. It's so important for you to keep the public in the dark. Would it be more fun to simply drop it on the eleven o'clock news and let the people go wild? <laughs> you know what you have there. That box contains information that's priceless. The world will never be able to know. And trust me, you let that box go, you'll never get out the front door of this hellhole. You saw what I did to that traitor in the sports car. I blew him away. Oh yeah, Crimson Fury's and CIA agent. In danger here. Just ask the precious strike to use it to kill me if I didn't cooperate. I can't see. Are they dead? Jesus. I don't know. Jesus. Jesus. I better get out of here. Let me start out my car. Get the hell out of here. Get the fuck out of here, damn it. Leave me alone with my bikini women and my two greased up guys with guns. Dark side. Ah, Mr. Ash. Let's see oh, what Mr. you Anderson. come asking for. I've come to get back what's mine. Let's go, Black. It's time to come home. What? Black? I don't understand. It is not your place to understand. And even though you'll never admit it, there are many things you will never fully understand. So, so Dark Side's a and mystical. And you, Black. Being as well. I huh? granted you more power than I gave any other demon, and you left. You left me. No! Black! Where are you going? No! I'm getting out of here! What are you doing with Black? I, wait, is, is Black the guy who gave him his powers then? Now it's no! turning into a Rob Zombie no! video. More human than no! human. No, I got a better one. I'm your boogeyman, boogeyman. Let's go, du, du, du. The fires of hell need fuel. <laughs> I'm curious about Crimson Let's Fury. Let's see what you've come asking for. Ah, this, this one, definitely one of the most interesting in our quests. I he is very close got. to Beetlejuice. Did Michael Keaton. He's Avengers. got that personality. Intimate, true he's evil, but he's like, you know. He, there's just something about him. Oh, God, he wants to. You've, you've, you've actually got the box. The box. Well, yes. Yeah. Pan West Flight 1745 en route to Paris, France. Marker bearing 239er. Condition green, 70 miles visibility. No way, man. She was looking at me. I was just. My God. What is that? What, what, what the hell is that? Andy, look at that. Some sort of weather balloon, maybe. It's not coming up on radar. No, I, I, I'm gonna have to call this one in. Hang on. Paris Tower, this is Pan West Flight 1745. We seem to have a situation here. Uh, it's some sort of craft. I, I, I think I want to report it to UF. Jesus. Oh my God, they got synthesizers. We don't set a chance. That's a valuable piece of information you've got there. The commander competed valiantly and died trying to keep you from getting it. Well, that's the U.S. government for you. I know, a bunch of assholes. This, though. Thanks, Calypso. You won't even see me. I'm just gonna drive off in the sports car that we couldn't afford for this, uh, cutscene. They couldn't, they couldn't afford the Ferrari. So cool. 
check out all the babes. Look at the babes! Oh, this is like that fucking Bill and Ted NES commercial. Oh uh, yeah, we just want the babes clip, so requested nothing. You are aware as victors of a high octane competition. Oh, uh, we don't know how to write <laughs> anything you ask for. <laughs> We're illiterate. <laughs> You're pulling my chain. Ah, dude, they got guns. Well, so do we. Well, what will it be? Oh man. <laughs> What yeah. Done. Done. You have all of my babes now. That explains why he has no babes in the second Hi, game. Guys. Let's go, man. Let's go now. This is so cool. Oh my god, they censored my cup. We're finally getting laid. Yeah, no more watching Porto in your uncle's like garage anymore. All right, that's all of them. <laughs> There's a sweet tour. I'll check that out at some other point. So you see, there's this other game called Twisted Metal Lost, which is the sequel to Twisted Metal Black. That is the best one! But uh, as you can see, there's a difference here. You see, this is more Twisted Metal 2. It's got that, like, awesome comic style, and then you got this early 2000s gritty shit. Let's check it out. This game is not complete. Yeah, in 2003, work began on Twisted Metal Harbor City. The game was to be a sequel. To the award-winning million-selling Twist Metal Black, the levels in Harbor City were designed to connect via a series of freeways that would allow players to experience the, for the first time a seamless streaming Twist Metal. Wow, open-world Twist Metal? Sadly, only a select few ever got to experience this new vision of the Twist Metal series on March 13th, 2005. Six key members of the Harbor City team were killed when their plane crashed following a celebratory skiing trip in Colorado. Because of this tragic event, the game was canceled. On March 13, 2007, two years to the day of the plane crash, a note arrived at the offices of Sony Computer Entertainment. The note pleaded with Sony to allow the public to play the last works of the deceased team members. To allow the public to enjoy the last game the teammates had ever created. The note was signed with the names of the six deceased team members. After months of debating the origin of the note, the consensus was that it was a joke and poor taste. However, it was decided that Elements in Harbor City would be released to the public in order to honor their fallen teammates. While the connective freeways have been removed and no stories were ever written for the characters, we hope you will enjoy the classic Twisted Metal gameplay that these levels represent. They stand as a testament of the talent and dedication of our beloved teammates. If you would like to see the actual notes sent to the Sony office to complete all the levels in the Lost Story mode, if you would like to see the note in its entirety and unlock the secrets it contains, complete all the levels in Lost Story mode on hard difficulty will fuck me. The sad part is there's no endings, and there's no, like, backstory in this one, so it kind of lacks a lot of the character that you would get out of Twisted Metal. Alright, this looks like the same... Yep, same, same controls. Oh, you don't, ha you don't have to do the, um... The, the moves, you just hold tri- Yeah, you just press triangle, and then you can do the freeze mine, okay. Okay, what other shit? Look back. Alright, it seems like this is roughly the same controls except for the specials. Oh, we got, we got Roadkill John Doe. Oh, they did it. They did write backstories for him. Okay, so let's see. We got Roadkill Crazy 8. I've got no face, man! Mr. Grim. Raven. What? Why is Shadow a chick now? Look, I'm super goth, but I like- I like Crow. I like the Crow movie. Drives a haunted hearse filled with the vengeful souls of the dead that it once carried. Using her powerful voodoo dolls, she has become a hero to the people of Midtown. An urban legend who protects the innocent from the freaks and killers who roam the streets of this cursed city. Crazy 8 story? Really? He's a momo no bush, ever obsessed with the building and middle of bug. Alright, tracking and killing those he deems evil, he steals the eyes and tongues of his victims. He struggles to create a new face for himself. One that will allow him to smile at his baby daughter without making her burst into tears. After eight years, still no luck. Oh, hey, here's that preacher guy. Oh, they censored his, his cross on the hood. I like how he drives a Camaro. Oh, ouch. 
Axel's back. Uh, he seems to be okay. Well, Dark Side, Dark Side's back, but the driver's doll face now. Oh shit! Outlaw's a fucking truck. I don't know how I feel about that. I always liked Outlaw better as a car. Sweet Tooth, he looks all right. Uh, yellow Jacket. Hey, but this isn't the same. Like, no shit, it is. It's Charlie Kane. What the fuck? Oh, he's Sweet Tooth's brother. His dead father via. Wait. The brother of Sweet Tooth controls his dead father via remote control. The macabre duo have decided to track and kill Sweet Tooth and then kill themselves. Doing so will destroy the family bloodline, putting an end to generations of murderers and psychopaths. Fair enough. Billy Ray, I'm Billy Ray, I got a tow truck! Spectre, who's this chick? The Swiss Metal Black, Bloody Mary has lost all hold on reality. She is not sure what she wants anymore. She simply does what comes naturally to her. Driving and killing, secretly she hopes to be killed in the contest and have her suffering come to an end. She'll be played by Gwen Stefani. I drive a dump truck and I'm in a gimp suit. Please select me. No. Wait, you're black? Hold on. No one knows where black comes from. But he seems incapable of dying, and he has only one goal, to kill Calypso. The latest rumor is that Black actually comes from a parallel universe where a different, more colorful Calypso wants to use Black to murder his darker twin. Wait, what?! So... So there really are two, two actual universes. There's the Black universe. Is that why it's called Twisted Metal Black? Because of him? And then there's the other Twisted Metal Universe? The one that I like? The comic book one? Oh, Warthog, what the fuck happened to you? You're like a tank mixed with a Griswold car. Alright, we're back. Okay, let's see. Well, I mean, I usually like Outlaw, but I don't know. I don't know. Eh, maybe it's the same thing. Caught in a time loop at the end of Twisted Metal Black, Agent Stone is forever forced to relive the night he won the Twisted Metal contest. Each night he stands before Calypso prepared to be redeemed, and each night ends with a bullet straight through the brain. For Agent Stone, there is no escape. Wow. Alright, I just want... You know, I'm curious. I do want to play as Darkseid, because I haven't seen Darkseid since Twist Metal 1. Choosing to stay locked in her doll mask, this once young girl has become a young woman. While her body and skull grow bigger, the mask does not yield. The crushing pressure on her brain has begun to take its toll. I think in the latest one, Dollface is actually a beauty queen that, um... Got into a car accident, then got this, like, minor scar, and then she got a surgery from a crazy dude, and they put a mask on her, and then she's looking for the surgeon. Alright, I'm gonna play as Outlaw. That's, you know, Outlaw's my main. Oh, cool. Alright, so, same interface as, as Head Off. I guess they just use the same engine. What is my special attack? Is my- wait, I no longer have the taser? That sucks. Oh, the effects are pretty nice. It's easier to do the freeze, that's for sure. Oh, I can't move, because... I got the special out again. So now my special is just a, is a turret cutter? The snow here is awesome. Turret top cutter? That sucks, I want my taser. There, fuck it. It went from like, you know, a nice maneuverable car to more of a heavier, like, ramming type car, too. They, they fucked over my favorite character. Or my favorite car, whatever. Maybe I should just play as Dark Side, shit. One big ass level. I wonder if I can blow up that big boy. I wanna do it. Hey, wait, who, who was that? That person had a taser. 
That's who I should be playing as, is, is the taser person. It was not Spectre, was it? It wasn't, it wasn't Warthog. Does Roadkill have it? Was miles per hour? Yeah, because it's miles per hour. That's the joke about Tails. Is that his real name is Miles Per Hour. It's a pun. Oh, the ricochet looks like a bomb in this one. So, in, in the in the cartoon Twisted Metal, the ricochet is is not a bomb, but in this one, the more like serious one, it's a fucking bomb. I don't get it. Tails isn't that fast. Yeah. Well, he he he, he can he can fly a plane. He's supposed to be like an inventor, or at least he used to be. Like that was old school Sonic lore. Sonic has literally no lore, it's just stupid. This is when the batteries die. I like the Game Gear Sonics though. I like the Master System Sonics. They're like the ones that no one talks about, but like I actually kind of almost like them better than the Genesis Sonics. Alright, oh, oh, look, we get the old school heal. Oh shit. Hey, let me get back. I fire this blue thing. I don't know what it does, but when, when he when he locks on that laser. The ricochets do more damage the more they ricochet. kind of sucks compared to the head on though then again I mean wasn't really done it's more like a bonus so like what, what I see with like twisted metal 2 and twisted metal uh, head on or whatever is they they're kind of like 90s music videos or the Swiss Metal Black and um, this one, they're more like 2000s music videos where everything had to be fucking like, you know. Actually, actually no, this is more 90s. The other Twisted Metal is more 80s. Alright, let's get this guy here. Oh no, not the playground. So I forgot to blow up that big boy, oh shit. If I uh, take this ramp here, all right, who is that? Who's this character? Eight ball? That eight face guy? He's got the taser. He's more of my outlaw character. Son of a bitch. You know. Let's try this ramp. Tokyo did have some cool music. 
Hey, speaking of cool music, I have Grand Theft Auto Vice City stories that I'm also like, I want to play through. Oh, I wanted to jump. Press the wrong button. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, really? It's on the PS3 Twisted Metal? Oh, so they did reuse some of it. Check out, there's Bouncer, Warriors. I gotta start writing this shit down. <sighs> I also wanna like check out some nice shoot 'em ups on the PS2. Second Sight, what is that one? Is that the, um, is that the sniper one? Oh, wait, there's this really cool fucking, uh, Fist of the North Star fighting game on the PS2 that looks fucking amazing. Like, it's a 2D fighter, but, like, it looks, like, fantastic. Oh, really? In a mental asylum? I think I've heard of that one. Are, are you a black guy that has mental powers? Flashback to his army day. Wait! Okay. They time oh that one, the time splitter one. I thought you just wake up in a hospital. This is the time splitter engine. And then like you you're actually like traveling back in time. So you have to stop what happened in Russia or whatever. You know, typical like something happened. Fifty, how the fuck did I do fifty damage? Smoke. I like the lighting effects, but then again, I gotta say I like, um, I like head-on better than this. In fact, I kind of want to go back to playing that. Is it in the time? It might, I mean, like, the Time Universe is kind of bizarre. Driving angry, that's what the signs say. What's the gas can do? Oh, it's, it's they pop. No, the gameplay's solid, I gotta say, though. It's just that I prefer the other style of Twisted Metal. Never did play... I, I played it, like, once on the Xbox. I think I have it used on the Xbox, but I can't play it anymore because my Xbox is broken. Uh, yeah, I'm going back to the other one. I want to beat... I want to beat the, the other game. I want to beat head-on with, like, every character. Get all the Indians, you know what I mean? Wonder who should my next playthrough be? Look at this. Blah, 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 blah. 